Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to configure Raspberry Pi as an MQTT broker. And for this, we are going to use an open source Mosquito MQTT broker. Now, my Raspberry Pi is connected with my Wi Fi router, so it has got internet access so that we can download all the components directly onto the Pi. Um, so let's start. Um, I have got this terminal window open here, so I'll do SSH to the LAN interface of uh, Raspberry Pi. Okay, so we are in Raspberry, we are in the default directory. So let's create a directory so that all the temporary uh, key related files can be stored in a separate directory. So I'll create a directory with name Mosquito. Okay, so now if uh, we have to use uh, the new repository, we have to first import our repository package signing key. So I'll do wget for that. Okay, don't worry about the URL. I'll put all the details in the video notes. So we're done uh, with this now. Let's create the key. Okay, so we are good here. Now we need to make the repository available for APT. So we'll go to APT uh, source directory. Okay, now we will download uh, the repository here uh, with the wget. Okay, so we are going to use VZ. Uh, okay, so we are done uh, with this. Now we can. Uh, update the package okay we need to use sudo with this apt caret update so it will update all the repositories And once this is done, we can go ahead and install Mosquito. Okay, so we are done here. Um, let's install Mosquito now. Yeah, so now it is installing Mosquito for us. You'll see some of those errors, but don't worry. Uh, if uh, Raspberry Pi is able to start Mosquito service, we are good. And yeah, you can see here on the screen, um, the daemon is started. So let's cross check uh, the status. Uh, we can check uh, though the service is running if you want you can check the process with the ps-ef command yeah you see the process is running now um, the default port for uh, mosquito is uh, 1883 uh, so let's cross check if it is listening to that So you see um, there is a process which is listening to 1883 
so we are good here so now uh, we, our raspberry pi is uh, ready with the mosquito mqtt broker it is listening on to the port so we should be able to publish and subscribe messages uh, using this mqtt broker now i have got uh, uh, two python scripts here with me one is uh, a publisher.py and another one is subscriber.py now you see the mqtt host or uh, broker ip address is the same ip address uh, which uh, is assigned to my raspberry pi so let's cross check this here so you see uh, 10.0.1.3 is the ip address which is assigned to the raspberry pi so we are using it as the broker in publisher and uh, same IP is there in uh, subscriber and uh, we are using the default port which is 1883 which we just checked on Raspberry Pi even on uh, publisher we have the same port 1883 now um, what I'll do I'll quickly run these two uh, scripts I'll start with the subscriber script because I need to listen to the messages coming in so um, it is subscribed uh, to the topic which is defined in this script here on uh, the test topic so now it is listening to all the incoming messages now if I go to publisher and execute this script now it says message published now if I go here you see uh, hello MQTT and this is the message which is uh, configured in my publisher which we are trying to send so yeah, so this is it. Uh, this is how uh, you can uh, configure uh, Raspberry Pi as an uh, MQTT broker and you can uh, configure all your uh, uh, MQTT clients with that uh, IP address and then you can use it to publish or uh, subscribe to the topics. Now, if you have to um, install or uh, uninstall uh, uh, Mosquito, all you need to do is uh, sudo apt get purge remove mosquito so what it will do it will remove all the files that we just installed so it will stop the daemon and it will remove all the files Yeah, so it has done that. So now if we try to check the service status. So there is no service with that name. If we try to look for any process which is running with uh, Mosquito. Yeah, there is no process the entry is only for the grep command and uh, if we look at uh, net stat you see there is nothing or no process which is listening to 1883 now so that's it for now thanks for watching have a good one bye bye